This is not a Birkin. What? Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel where we um, try to have a little bit of fun as well as look at handbags and luxury, luxury lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to introduce to you guys a artist who has been painting, hand painting, handbags. So let me introduce you, well, to the bag that I purchased is the, this is not a Birkin. Now it's Birkin style, of course, but it's not a Birkin. So I came across this handbag when I was in Beautiful You Boutique in Sarasota, Florida. And at first I really did think this was a Birkin and I thought maybe that Hermes was starting to do the same thing that Gucci was doing to their handbags and painting, you know, fake, hey, this is not a Gucci. Okay, so anyway, I learned about this exciting new brand artist and her name is Anka Barbu. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Ar Anka is an artist um, originally from Romania who started painting in college in New York City. Um, she actually was fairly well known in New York, um, ended up moving to Miami, the better weather, of course, um, where she had um, been painting on canvas and she was actually featured in some of the, uh, yes, she has, um, she was displayed um, in the Miami area in several galleries and displayed in Wynwood Arts District and painted murals in Wynwood area where she also attended the local famous art walk in Miami. So she ended up flipping from canvas to handbags. She started actually painting some of the handbags for her clients. And um, I guess it became a big thing. And now she actually has an entire website where she sells her hand painted bags. And these bags are painted with a special um, leather paint. So these aren't going to like peel or stain or anything else. Okay, so I think this bag is super cute. And of course, and it even comes with the little, um, you know what charm? Yes, the bag charm. <laughs> So um, the bags are genuine leather. She is very conscientious about uh, the quality care of her handbags that she puts out. I think there are some amazing, amazing cute designs that she has um, come out with. And if you look at her website, which is barboo.com, you will see her bags. And let me tell you, there are some fun designs. In fact, I was literally just on the site about 10 minutes ago and I found another bag that I am going to get. I know I'm going to get this bag and it is this one with the horse on it because it looks very, it looks very Hermes, but it's not. I'm not saying anything. I'm not. Mm -mm. But if you look at some of these, oh my God, straight out of Miami, emotional baggage. I love that one. Um, money bag. Love that. Love that bag. Now I found someone on the pre-love market as well. <laughs> bitch, bitch. I, I love these. They, they are, they are cute. Um, she's kind of like a, um, pop art artist. Um, I think it's something that is, and these, and these bags, if you look at them, you know, yeah, some are five, some are three, but these are real leather handbags. So you're not getting, you know, a crappy bag with painting on it. You're getting an actual 
quality leather bag that's hand painted by an artist. So each bag in reality is one of a kind. They're not going to be the same. So the designs may be very similar, but they're not like mass produced. So one bag, she has made other bags of these, but of course they're different colors. They might be a little bit different. They're all different and unique. So if you think about it, three, five, seven hundred dollars for a bag is not bad at all. In the grand scheme of the luxury world, where we are all more than willing to chuck out thousands and thousands of dollars because it's a brand. Yeah, so we can't really um, complain too much about the prices on these. I think it is such a great looking bag. And of course, it does come with la -la, a matching shoulder strap as well. So I love this bag because it is very Birkin esque. Just saying, this is not, you know, we're not saying these are counterfeit bags. This is just a Birkin style bag that's hand painted by an artist. So blah, get over it. But this is, I think, really, really, really great. I think it's a, a great idea when you want to um, get out of the box, get away from the mainstream, blah, 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 you know, Louis Vuitton, this, about all of that stuff. When you just want, you know, repetitiveness makes you kind of sick after a while. So this, I think, is super refreshing. Um, had a lot of really great compliments on this bag, um, but I think it's I think it's phenomenal. The first time I laid eyes on it, I was like, "This is a really really cute bag." Okay, love introducing you guys to new things um, that are out there, not just the typical, you know, yeah, I buy luxury bags. I know, but I also like these really unique things that you don't see walking around every day because how boring is it when you're carrying your handbag and you see like three other people in the store carrying the same bag it's like oh, suddenly i don't feel so unique and special anymore so i wanted to introduce you guys to this because i think it's really cool check out her site at onkabarboo.com uh, barboo.com um she also has instagram um and i have found some of her older um, designs on the pre-loved market, specifically Poshmark, I found, and there's a couple that I'm really, um, I'm gnawing at the bit to get those too. So, you know, I may, it's something to have fun with. Again, it's not a, you know, a huge expense, um, you know, so I think it's worth checking out. I love that they come with the fobs as well. I really do. I think that's really cute. So I'm really glad that they do that. I think it adds a special little touch and it does have a working key and lock with it. If I can, if I can get the key up, let's see. This, this might be, this might be childproof. I don't know. But it does have the working lock with it as well. So great looking bag inside as well. You can see inside. It's got the same pockets, you know, as somebody else does. The feet, um, very resembling a Birkin bag, but again, not a Birkin. I don't think Hermes will ever do something like this to the bags. I just don't because they're that's that's not in their that's not in their wheelhouse. Not not ever going to happen. But I think this is just a super cute, um, different kind of bag to check out. Um, I think um, <laughs> I think it's great. It even came with a Twilly. So if you think about it, I mean, you're getting a Twilly. You're getting a charm. You're getting the bag. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer, really. Um, but check them out because there are some really, really fun, fun designs in this bag. I, I can't tell you how. I was just laughing at some of these bags. But I do love the coral. She does one now with the coral 
um, and then some with starfish. Oh, it's amazing with the blue and the gold. I think it's a beautiful bag. I think it looks, I think it looks like a really super high-end luxury handbag. It does. It looks like you paid thousands for it, I think. Um, straight out of Miami, the drinks. Uh, it's just beautiful. Tiny bag. I love that. Um, but check it out. There's a lot of um, designs on there. Um, they do change. So check it out. And also don't forget to check pre-loved markets as well for these bags. But some of them are actually more money now because it's, you know, a it's a style that's no longer uh, around and it's discontinued. People are charging more money, which, you know, I don't get that. I really don't. They buy it, they keep it. And then when it's discontinued, they try to upcharge and, you know, charge $900. It, it's whatever. That's, that's a whole other topic for another day. But, um, but check this out. I really think she has some great bags and um, she does a really good job, you know? Hey. Woman in the arts, we gotta support it, right? So, um, again, guys, the Anka Barbu bags, and they do come in different styles. They're all not the Birkin style. There are like four or five different styles of bags you can choose from on these. So it's not all just the Birkin styles either. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little show and tell of this new style of bag, the painted handbags. And I think it's important that we um, support some of the smaller businesses and um, artists, and especially women, women in the arts, women in handbags. I think we need to promote that rather than making a lot of these men rich. You know, why don't we start making some of the women rich? How about that? So anyway, guys, um, please check it out. Um, I think you will be pleasantly surprised um, and at least, you know, maybe get a good laugh or get a smile on your face. And who knows, you may end up with a new bag. How about that? Not too bad, huh? So um, keep watching because I'm going to keep bringing you guys um, new bags, new things, um, things you may not have heard of, things you may have but may not have thought of looking at or uh, maybe wanted a review of. So anyway, guys, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys like these types of videos. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.